Next, the Abe Burroughs Show, a Columbia feature recorded from its network release. The Columbia Broadcasting System and its affiliated stations present Abe Burroughs. Hello, I'm Burroughs, like he said. Como usted esta noche, amigos? Oh, shut up, John Sablon. <laughs> You've all heard that Sablon on the radio. He's that French-type singer. French is the dance. <laughs> well, since I heard him, I've been thinking maybe I ought to work like that. You know, smooth, suave, sophisticated, with a touch of sex appeal in my throat. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Might help me pick up more female listeners. I've been told to put more sex appeal in this show. Seems that mine is the only radio program that women turn off to listen to the ball game. <laughs> Funny, I used to have sex appeal. I don't know where it went. You know, this business, you move around so much. <laughs> anyway, I decided to listen to this Jean Sablon guy last week. It was Sunday, and I was feeling pretty depressed. I just finished reading the funnies. So I turned on the radio to get my mind off Dick Tracy and Coffeehead, <laughs> who was just coming to a boil. <laughs> and I, I heard this Sablon guy. Pretty good. Of course, that accent of his helps a lot. You know, those fellows with accents have a big advantage over us slobs who've got perfect diction. <laughs> After hearing him, I decided to write a Jean Sablon French-type song, which I'm going to sing tonight, but not right now. Before I go completely continental, I'd like to warm up on an American-type song. I have here a cute little love song, which a few weeks ago was on the program as just a plain song title. It shows you these songs of mine have possibilities. I thought of a cute title today that I'm working on. It's a tender little thing called, Did You Mean It Last Night When You Whispered Those Two Little Words Dropped Dead? I'm going to try to finish that one of these days Well, let's get to the song I did finish It's what they call a clever type love song Get this You put the piece of carbon paper under your heart And gave me just a copy of your love each dove and pigeon, oh, no, got the original. Darling, can't you see what you mean to me? Oh, how you fooled me with those giggles, winks, and nudges. The love that you gave me was a duplicate with smudges. <laughs> oh, you put a piece of carbon paper under your heart and gave me just a cup of your, gave me just a cup of your, gave me just a second sheet of love. Isn't that amazing? Imagine, a few weeks ago, that song was just a title. But I gave it some thought, added some lyrics, music, worked it up, and now see what I've got? Nothing. <laughs> well, well, let's get to the Jean Sablon type song. This is a song I wrote in French. Yeah, French. <laughs> I had quite a lot of French in high school. Flunked it three times. <laughs> This French song of mine is called Long. <laughs> it's, it's the kind of thing that's meant to be sung in a small, intimate cafe by a fellow who wears a soft felt hat and has a green spotlight on him. <laughs> when he steps on the floor, there's a hushed silence, which is only broken by an occasional voice saying, Sing my golly baby! <laughs> I sing a smile, gets a stranglehold on a microphone, and sings a song something like this. Sur le point de l'avion, je ne sais pas que je ne sais. Quelque chose, quelque chose. Je vous aime. On est soit qui m'a répondu. On a poil de carottes. On a carnet de bal. 
Je vous ai aimé. Rang, rang, rang. Pitié, pas de pas de Je vous ai aimé. Je vous aime. Là, là, là. Ouvrez ta fenêtre. C'est ça. Ah, mamie, qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? Regardez la locomotive de mon oncle. Je baba, je baba. Ah, chérie, chérie. Rom, 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 rom. Petit pata, pata. Rom. Let's break up the sophisticated mood by a number with the quartet here. A lot of people have been asking questions about the cute little tune we use as our closing theme. This tune is part of a very interesting musical composition, which you're going to hear now in its entire holacy, or whole entirety. <laughs> it was written by our conductor and first accordionist, Milton Deluxe. It's entitled Zone 28, and it was written in Santa Ana while Milton was with the United States Army Air Force, where he was a... Uh, Hey, Milt. Yes. Exactly what did you do in the Air Force? I was a sergeant. A sergeant? Master sergeant. Gee, I never knew anybody in the Air Force was ever lower than a colonel. <laughs> How come you was only a sergeant? I was 4F. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed Milton Delug's debut and farewell performance as a comedian. <laughs> Let's hear Zone 28. Fellas, very nice. You know, maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I like modern music. <laughs> now, to get back to this business of, a, of appealing to the female-type listeners, I think we're all agreed that the Jean Sablon approach is not for me. <laughs> Frankly, I feel that that suave, smooth style detracts from the charm of my natural crudeness. <laughs> there is another kind of fellow who seems to appeal to the ladies a lot. I'm thinking of those friendly, chatty, philosophical-type guys who come on the air every afternoon with tidbits, chit-chat, homely philosophy, and commercials. <laughs> I can be a homely philosopher. I'm pretty homely. <laughs> I might be able to handle that kind of thing. Let's see now. Milton, play something friendly. Hello there. May I come in and visit? <laughs> this is Abe Burroughs settling down for another friendly chat with you folks out there. 
Beautiful day, isn't it? I feel great. Had a wonderful night's sleep. And you know why I slept so well? There's been a little nightingale singing outside my window. And last night I finally shot him. <laughs> ah, it's nice to see folks like nightingales. Had a great night's sleep. Well, let's see what's in the old mailbag. Here's a letter that, letter that contains a poem. It's written in verse. And I'd like to read it to you, because it has a wonderful message. The poem is called, A Smile. <laughs> no matter how dark the dismal day, no matter how heavy your troubles weigh, no matter if you are feeling gay, keep smiling. <laughs> smile, 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 smile. Smile if you're sick and never moan. And if you keep on smiling snappily, you'll find you'll always live happily. Because folks will think you're an idiot and let you strictly alone. <laughs> ah, that's a mighty true statement by George. Now I'd like to say a few words to the busy housewife. You know, one of the big problems of housekeeping is household smells. <laughs> well, let me recommend a new product called Air Roller. In a jiffy, a bottle of air roller removes the smell of cooking. Use it at our house all the time. Removes the smell of smoking, the smell of cooking, removes all kinds of smells. Air roller comes in a handy kit, which contains a bottle of air roller and a bottle of smear roller. <laughs> smear roller is the only thing made which can remove the smell of air roller. <laughs> the, price, the price is only one dollar or ten cents for the small economy size. <laughs> try it. You know, I'd like to say a few words now about friendship. Friendship is very important. It keeps you friendly. <laughs> a wise philosopher once said, it is better to have one friend than a thousand enemies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, friendship's important. And now I'd like to say a few words about health. You know, health is very important. It keeps you well. <laughs> a wise philosopher once said, it is better to be healthy for two weeks than sick for one day. <laughs> well, my time is kind of running out now. So now here is A. Burroughs' thought for today. You know, I'm a pretty happy fella. And like many happy people, I've often been asked, what is my formula for true happiness? Well, I can answer that in one word. Money. <laughs> yes, money. You know, these days, people are rushing around trying to find happiness through love and friendship. They all seem to overlook good old, plain, old-fashioned money. <laughs> a philosopher once said, looking for happiness is like looking for a cow. It helps if you get a little moo. <laughs> now, when I talk about money, I don't mean a man has to have a million dollars or a half a million. You'd be surprised at how happy a man can be with only a quarter of a million. <laughs> That's on 28 again, and this time it's back on its old job as our closing theme. We're back again next week, same time, same station. And so those of you who aren't sick of hearing me, catch me tomorrow with Peggy Lee and Woody Herman on the Electric Hour. I'm going to be a mix master. <laughs> Good night. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. This is KNX, Columbia Square, Los Angeles.